Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Elden Ring. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to cheese one of the most annoying bosses in Elden Ring, Belenia, the goddess of bullshit. It's not necessarily hard, she just never stops attacking, and it's honestly just really, really annoying. And yeah, I know, you could use the Rivers of Blood Katana with your Mimic, and you could just do the blood build, and you could kill her that way, but everybody, their mom, their son, their daughter, literally everybody is running the Rivers of Blood bleed build. And I was like, you know what? Let's find a different way to do it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to defeat Melania without basically ever kind of sort of maybe not really ever being touched. Now, to make this happen, we're going to need to get a couple of different things, and we're going to be utilizing this really cool glitch within the Millennia fight that allows us to, like, run up these roots and then activate one of our incantations to get on top of the root where she actually can't really hit us except for, like, one or two different moves. Then we're also going to be using the Wraith Calling Bell in conjunction with the Carrion Retaliation to get these Swords of Death that are going to burn her to the ground. And big shout out to X2Link who let us know that you can actually do this with the Wraith Calling Bell rather than having to use Glintstone Scrap. It's pretty awesome. Now, if you haven't already checked out the video on how this little process works with these swords, uh, then I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. It's pretty amazing. But let's go ahead and get into all of the different pieces that you'll need to make this work. Now, to be able to get the Wraith Calling Bell, we're going to go to the Laskier Ruins here in Lorinia. And then from here, we're going to hop on our horse. And we're going to run directly across this way. So like this little set of stairs that's going to take us into the this underground. It's not really a temple. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but just follow this direction here. You can hop, skip, and jump up there. There's going to be this set of stairs that we can run down. And then inside of here is going to be one of these lovely rooms. And then we can open up this door right here. And then inside of this is going to be the bell that we need to make this even more powerful than in our previous video. Now what's great about this bell is it can be used infinitely to be able to charge your shield. So you just use the bell, it's going to spawn one of those, and then you activate the carrying shield, and you'll spawn the Swords of Death to shoot your enemies. And a massive shout out to X2Link who left a comment on our previous video saying that the Wraith Calling Bell could be used infinitely for this method. Now next up, you're going to want to head back to the beginning area of the game to the Dragon Burnt Ruins. If you run around this area, a flying dragon, a gear will come swooping out of the sky and you'll need to defeat this dragon. Upon defeating it, you're going to get a Dragon Heart, and then you can head over to Kaelid, over to the Cathedral of the Dragon Communion. Now, if you've never been here before, you can walk over to this altar, and you can get Rites of the Dragon Communion here, and you're going to want to pick up a Gil's Flame. Now that we've got this incantation, you're going to want to make sure that it is equipped. And then you're also going to want to make sure that you have the Carrion Retaliation equipped on the shield. I'm using the Carrion Knight's Magic Shield. I do have a video on how to get both of these items and why they're insanely OP right now if you haven't checked it out. Um, but also, you're going to want to make sure that you have a Finger Seal equipped. Anyone will do. And then I also recommend having a shield with a 100% physical damage negation on it because the spot that we're going to be hiding in, she can actually hit us with one or two moves, but with the shield, we can block through all of it. Then you're also going to want to make sure that you have your Wraith Calling Bell equipped because what we're going to be doing, which I've shown already, is that we're going to use this bell along with the Carrion Retaliation to be able to spawn these Swords of Death around us. And this is going to be very important. Now, once you get inside, you're going to run right past Millennia. And as long as you run right past her, she's not going to start attacking you and you'll have plenty of time. Now, there are some instances where what we're going to do, it will glitch out and you'll end up dying. But if we do it right, we need to walk slowly up this. We'll glitch into the air and this is when we'll use a gill's flame after we jump and land right on this particular route. 
From here, what we need to do is activate our Wraith Calling Bells, so that way we get these swords. And we can just kind of look right in front of us, so that way we activate the swords each time. And you just kind of keep looking ahead, activating these, and the swords will just continuously burn down millennia. There are a few attacks she can hit us with here, but they're easy to see because she'll either jump back or jump in the air like that, where we can just block it with our shield. Now in phase two, you're going to be teleported to the middle and you just need to run right past her. Then we're going to use one of our spirit summons to use as a distraction. I love the black blade, black knife tiche. And then we're going to walk back up the roots nice and calmly. And then we're going to jump in the air and use a gills flame once again to sit on the roots. Where we can continuously attack her from afar with the carrion retaliation and the wraith calling bell. Now, there are a couple instances here where she can still hit you and apply the rot damage. Uh, so there's actually two different ways we can handle phase two. And you can see here in this clip where we're going to run into an issue with her like final attack of phase two where she jumps in the air and tries to murderize you with this big blast right here. And this is the one downside of being on this route because we have already killed her, but it doesn't register for so long. It's going to register after this whole animation that she's dead and we end up dying anyways, which really sucked. And even though she died and I died, usually you get credit for that. But in this instance, I didn't. So the other option is when you get into phase two, you can run right past the attack and actually just battle her down on the ground during phase two with the same exact process where we're just staying as far away, letting our summon take aggro and using the carrion retaliation to burn her to the ground and actually defeating her. So you can use a combination of the root method and as she gets lower in health, you hop down, murder her on the ground and just finally defeat this really annoying boss. Once you finally defeat Millennia, then you can take her Remembrance to the Maiden at the Round Table Hold, and you can get the Hand of Millennia or the Scarlet Rod Aeonia. Obviously, we want to get this Katana, because this thing is amazing. It's requirement of 48, but it is pretty freaking awesome. So, if we hit L2 for the skill, we're going to be able to use Waterfowl Dance. If we just let this play through once, it's uh, going to do that. But then if we follow up with this with another push of L2 quickly afterwards, we'll be able to tell into the full thing that Millennia actually uses, which is just ridiculously devastating. Now the weapon itself is just really fun to use. It's incredibly flashy and while it might still not be as good as say like the Rivers of Blood combination with the Blasphemous Blade, it is still just a very fun weapon to- Oh no! But yeah, regardless, the Rivers of Blood Katana is still just the god mode of everything right now. It is just absurdly good. But once it's patched, you know, the Millennia, Hand of Millennia may end up being very good in the future. Uh, but regardless, thank you all so much for watching. I've made a horrible mistake with my life right now, and I'll see you all in the next one.